Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I make a hallway table and it's made from maple and it has a live edge top on it and it's really heavy. Before we get into this build, I have something I want you guys to do if you're new to my channel and that is to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell because I don't want you guys to miss whenever I upload a new video. So let's get into this project. I started by planing the live edge slabs to thickness. If you want to make this rudder sled, I have a video on how I made it. This was a great way to flatten these slabs, but it made a real mess. The guys at my local dump know me as the sawdust guy. I then went on to cut the slab to rough length. I cut the top to 20 inches wide. Since it is a live edge, the top varies in width. After I cut it to width, I then squared up the ends with the back. Next, I sent it through the drum sander to remove the planer marks. Then I added an eighth inch round over. Now it was time to glue up the bottom shelf. and I cleaned it up using the drum sander. Next I cut it to width on the table saw and to length on the miter saw. I used the table saw to cut the corners out to accept the legs. It also gets an eighth inch round over on all edges. I drilled two pocket holes in all four corners. Then it was time to make the legs. I did this by laminating two pieces of wood together to get a two inch square leg. When the glue was dry, I cleaned them up using the jointer, planer, and drum sander. Next, I cut the legs down on the miter saw. It's important to use a stop lock to ensure all the legs will be the same length. No one likes a wobbly table. I added a 20 degree taper to the bottom of all the legs. I used the shaper to give them an eighth inch round over. Next I cut the box aprons using the table saw and miter saw. Thank you. 
And like everything else so far, I gave it an eighth inch round over. I then went on to mark the locations for the dominoes. You don't have to use dominoes. You can get away with using dowels or pocket screws. I started by assembling the ends and once they had dried, I glued on the side aprons. It's great to have six foot pipe clamps for glue ups like this. Next I went on to fasten the bottom. I used four pieces of scraps to help hold the shelf in place while I screwed it to the legs. To fasten the top, I am using figure eight clips. They require a shallow hole, so I carefully drilled each one and checked them as I went to make sure they were perfect. These clips will allow for the seasonal changes the top will go through. This table is now finished. It is solid and very heavy. <sighs> and that is it for this project. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.